Okay, today it's time to put the firewall onto the actual body tub and just stiffen it up a little bit. G'day guys, welcome back to MG Rebuild um, and hello to all the new subscribers out there. Today, like I said, we're going to put the firewall onto the body tub and that will actually help line the body tub up a little bit more on the front end because at the moment it's just a little bit skew with. So what we need to do, um, obviously is put the body, the firewall on there and also put the, the um, timber surround in there. Many episodes ago, I said I was gonna leave that, I was gonna stain it timber um, and not paint it, just for the effect of it being timber. I wasn't happy in the way it turned out. It looked streaky, it, the grain wasn't the, what I wanted. It just looked like crap, to be quite honest. So I've just spent the last couple of days painting that up and um, it's gonna look like everyone else's TD painted. Okay, now what I've done, I've put in obviously the towers that were in there from before. I've put in the actual stay. Everything is all loose at the moment because I've got room to move everything around. Now, um, I've been looking at a few books and trying to work out which way the bolts should actually go. They should have the bolt head on the firewall side, sorry, the engine side or the cab side. And I really don't know. Um, I think from what I've seen, it should actually be from the uh, from the cabin side. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll change them over. So let's make a start. Now I know there's a uh, panel that's got to go in there yet, but you can put bolt the third one up in because there's a, a little cutout in the actual. Um, tow panel or firewall panel or whatever you want to call it so um, we'll sort that out. So Lachlan you're going to be on camera. I am. Mm -hmm. So we don't really go. Actually I might better do it here. Oh they're supposed to fit through there. They're not lined up. They're too big. Way too big. Okay, best laid plans have come unstuck. The bolts I have bought for this area down here are too big and they obviously won't fit. So what I'll do in the meantime, I'll actually will put the timber in um, and I, I won't bolt it up, it would it'd just be, I mean I'll still put the bolts through but they will be loose um, just so we've got some structure there. As you can see, I've also painted all the bolt heads, and hopefully, I won't get too knock too much paint off.
Okay, um, I've decided to stop doing that at the moment because I really need to put this on first. Uh, bolt that to there first. Well, that, that's that's my preference um, because when I align the doors, I've got to sort of pull the body tub that way a little bit and I haven't actually bolted that down as yet. Plus also, I want to put a sealant in behind the firewall. So until I get these bolts, um, until I buy the right size bolts, paint them, um, I'm not going to be able to continue on with this. Um, so we'll put a stop on that. But anyway, this is a bit of a, bit of a funny one for you. These are the bonnet catchers, or the keepers, or what do you want to say. Um, now, I believe that is to be the original style. Just a, a flat piece of metal with that. But I've also got those as well, where it's a loop's been welded on. Now, I'm guessing that's the wrong type. Correct me if I am wrong, because I don't think it's original. But what I'm looking for, if that is wrong, is another pair of those. Um, so if anyone's got a second-hand pair, let me know, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, um, this episode's going to be a bit of a short one, unfortunately, and sort of a non-event. So what we'll do instead um, is introduce Mailbox. Um, and this is actually my first bit of mail I've actually got from someone. Um, this is from uh, John Swanland from um, Victoria in, in Australia. So let's see what he has sent me. Last episode, I was actually looking around for a, um, a a generator fan. Now, what John has sent me is uh, is an old one. Yes, it, it's rather crusty and it's a good clean up and so forth. Um, but that would come up very, very handy. So, thank you very much, John. I really do appreciate that. Um, absolute champ, because that's going to um, save me a lot of a lot of um, effort and so forth. So, anyway. Um, if you do want to send me, you know, letters, stickers, whatever you want to send me, um, the address will be in the description, so um, go from there. Okay, um, that's going to be the end of today's video. It's a bit of a short one, but uh, unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles today. Um, now, I've got myself a, a new pipe for the uh, radiator. Well, for, not the radiator, for, for the cooling system. I've painted it up with a bit of um, Pour 15, and my radiator is being recalled at the moment i should pick that up this week now um i've done some reading over the few last few days and i've discovered i've actually got the fan blades on backwards the reinforcing part is supposed to be facing forwards so i'm going to have to pop those over pop those off turn them over and um stick those back on in the right way around so um that's it so if you do like what you see please subscribe to the channel i do appreciate that and um plus also yeah, send some comments as well. Um, one of the questions I asked last week was uh, what colour piping to use on the uh, the body tub, uh, body tub to the guards. And I had a lot of comments back on that one and the majority of people were saying is to go for the same colour as either your trim or the actual uh, the roof, being the, uh, the hood. Um, and both of those colours are gonna be like a biscuit, biscuit tan sort of colour. So that's the, um, that's the colour piping I reckon I'll be going for. So I'll have to place an order for that and hopefully it will um, come here pretty soon because there's a few things that I've been waiting for for about uh, two months so far through the, through the mile and I still haven't arrived. So, and the piping is sort of something I'll be needing pretty soon because you know, after I finish the firewall, I can then put the doors on and then it's the rest of the body panels. So um, until next week, uh, stay safe and I'll see you later.